Uh, your poor lungs. <laughs> Nelly, after everything you've been through, no wonder you're such a mess. I well, caught in that fire a lot longer than we were. I think maybe he needs to see a doctor. I, I was seen by numerous physicians at the scene of the conflagration. And... You, you were probably told the same thing they told Tracy. You just got to give yourself some time to recover. I, I appreciate your kind concern, but the jackal's physiognomy is bully. <laughs> oh, this is awful. There's no way he can be my escort. <laughs> The fusion is full of nutrients, and you can obviously use all the help you can get. You know, the jackal is feeling much better and would be honored to escort Fur Maximista wherever she needs to go. Spinelli, you can barely stand, much less escort me and that dress to the Campbell's Gala. Crimson had a dress designed for the red dress fashion show, and it didn't get worn, so the Campbell's Gala is our last best chance to get publicity for the dress in February. February is Women's Heart Health Awareness Month, and I couldn't find a celebrity at the last minute who wasn't already committed to wearing another designer to wear that dress, so we figured I would be the next logical solution. I mean, I was the recipient of a heart transplant. Mm, we heard the sermon the first time, Maxie. Well, now I just need an escort. Mm, why not Federico? Federico would be perfect. And he's great at last minute alterations. Of course, the jackal just needs a lozenge, and that would I just. I hate to bring it to you, buddy, but you sound like crap. Fetty! Hey, it's Maxie. Oh, I'm doing fine. Yeah, that whole thing was horrible. But onward and upward, right? Which is why I'm calling you. Um, I'm actually going to the Campbell's Gala, and I would love for you to be my date. I know how you like red carpet events. Really? Why, Fetty? I liked your nose the way it was before. That too? Oh my god. I'm sure you'll look beautiful once the bruising goes down. They're saying 30 is the new 20. <laughs> really? Federico says he has a men's tux from his new line that my escort can wear. That's great, you are amazing. The samples of 41 regular? No way. This is life or death, Lulu. I can't show up to that Campbell's Gala in that fabulous dress with no escort. Well, get your own escort. Do you even have an empathetic bone in your body? Do you even know what that means? A Fetty is post-op, and Spinelli is clearly too weak to go anywhere. Johnny is perfect. Oh, of course Johnny is perfect, but you can't have him. Would you dial down your paranoia a little bit, please? I don't want your boyfriend. I just want his body. <laughs> Not like it sounds. <laughs> okay, if Johnny's taking anyone, it would be me. If you went, it would be a disaster. Could you even pretend to be nice? I'm being honest, which is, like, way better than being nice. You hate parties, you hate fashion. The one thing you don't hate about this situation is Johnny, and that's just not good enough. Might I remind you, it is heart health awareness. And you had a heart transplant, we all know, but you are not taking my boyfriend. Okay, not that anyone even asked my opinion, but I'm not going anywhere. Yes, you are. Actually, Jacko's feeling much better, and I'm sure that- The Campbell's like... Gala is our only hope to get that dress out there before the Oscars. I, I fail to see the correlation between wearing the dress and press coverage. Hello, the Oscars are Sunday night, and once the red carpet media gets out, that's gonna blow everything else out of the water. The Campbell's Gala is our last chance. Johnny, you have to go. Find someone else. I'm not wearing this Fetty's tux or whoever he is. I wholeheartedly agree. The mob prince should not have to do something that he does not want to do. You have <clears> to go. Well, wait a minute. Were you just being rational? The dress has to be at the gala. It's important. We're running out of time. Find someone else. A perfect 41 regular in zero time? It's not going to happen. It has to be you. And if you don't go, you're going to be undermining women's cardiovascular health and the health of American women everywhere. Okay, fine. I'll go. But both of you owe me big time. Okay, I'll go get changed. Whoa! I thought you understood that that meant Johnny would be escorting me to the Campbell's Gala. I understand that means Johnny's escorting the red dress. I never said you had to be in it. Well, well. <laughs> You don't have the first clue how to rock a dress like that. Mm. Well, I know I'm not letting you take my boyfriend. We are wasting time that we don't have. The only fair way to figure this out is to have Spinelli decide. Spinelli, who will Johnny be taking to the Campbell's Gala? Are you done yet? Perfect. Well, we need to get there while the media and the press is still in full force. I hope this works. Why wouldn't the photographers go crazy for an assistant wearing a designer dress that was supposed to be worn last week at a different party by an A-list celebrity? After everything I've done for you, all the sacrifices I've made, this is how you thank me? Sacrifices? Name one. Lulu, if I were half as shallow or self-centered as you think I am, you might have a reason to complain. Lucky for you, I'm not. Okay, if the press asks who you are and why you're attending, just explain to them that this was Crimson's plan all along for you to wear the dress. Okay. You know, it, it would help if you really actually supported me. What do you think I'm doing? 
I'm going along with this for Women's Heart Everywhere and BJ's Heart in particular, which by the way, has to last you into your old age, so you might wanna relax. We need to go. Looks like you got what you wanted. There's a sea of paparazzi outside. How, how does my hair look and my makeup? Do I have too much blush on? I don't know why I'm asking you. Maybe I should stay in here after all. No, you, you'll be fine. Just smile and look gorgeous and don't block my dress. Wish us luck. Look. It's all for a good cause, right? The cameras are waiting. Excuse me. Flight delay or some other welcome deterrent changed the plans? No. All systems are go. Maxine and Johnny just went inside. So all has gone smoothly then? Yeah. Paparazzi must have really liked the dress where they thought Maxine and Johnny were important and kind of went crazy. Maximista was her usual glorious self. They look great. Like they look great together. Well, that's, that's good, isn't it? 